Hello folks, I'm Odin Spack, and welcome back to part 14 of Cash Mode. Not even gonna say the name of the game anymore. Don't know why. Do you really need to know? I don't need to know. Uh, last time we stepped into the Fire Temple. Uh, a pretty nifty area. Uh, definitely one of my favorite dungeons, I would say. Um, just, like, again, I'm probably going to forget where to go, but I just really love the fire temple in general. Because, like, I love fire areas in games. I love fire. I'm just a pyromaniac, basically. Um, so it's, it's just it's just one of my favorite aesthetics in gaming. It's usually fire-themed areas. It definitely goes a lot hand in hand with, like, danger and whatnot. So we got some fire keys soon. Right, easy, use block and hit him. I don't know if you actually have to go left first, but you get some little story if you do, so I'm gonna do that. Yeah, so I guess this is like our dramatic scene like I mentioned last time. So there's Darunia. Yeah, we're really here. He's like, I'm gonna... I'm gonna talk to you, but now I can't, so Gandor's doing bad stuff, so I'm gonna go kick some butt. Alright. <laughs> Feed the people to the dragon. Oof, it's pretty rough. All right. All right, well, he's gonna go fight him. He's gonna go fight the dragon. But he doesn't have the legendary hammer, but he's gonna fight him without it anyway. Why wouldn't he do the puzzles? Well, whatever. Okay, so basically what you have to do in this, uh in this dungeon. It's kind of like a rescue mission. So he's gonna go fight the boss. Look, we're not gonna have to even fight the boss. He doesn't even have the boss key. He got in there somehow. Um, so he's gonna go fight the boss and we gotta go save his people. Oh, I guess you do have to come in here first because there's this prisoner in here. Why didn't he save him? Why would he just leave him? Like, there's a prisoner right here. Wow, Darunia. What a jerk, man. Like, you could have saved this guy, but you didn't. Why would you do that? Yeah. It gives you a hint. Um, so you need to do something about the pillar stuck in the ceiling. Okay. So it's kind of cool that you get to see like the boss room like right away. It's kind of cool when dungeons do this and it's like a search and rescue mission for <laughs> for the boss key. Obviously you're gonna have to do everything else before you can come over here. Uh, I don't think we can reach that. Actually, there's no reason to do that right now. So, I guess this game is better well designed than I realized. Uh, making you have to do certain things. Just in terms of programming, right? They're like, well, you can't do this until you have this item, uh, and you can't go, you can't go through these doors until you've talked to this person. It's kind of neat. Also, something that usually gets talked about in probably every let's play of this. Uh, I'll mention it because you know. It's pretty cash mode, so let's talk about the game for a little bit. Um, saying I'm a lot too. The music in this dungeon uh, was originally something else. I think it was like religious or something. Like, like it was like a religious chant. I'm not sure. Honestly, I'm not sure what religion. I'm not even gonna hazard a guess uh, because I'm sure I'll offend somebody by saying the wrong one. So I honestly have no idea. But, um, I guess this, like, offended some people, because, of course, like, see, look, I can't even mention, I don't know what religion it was. Imagine I just took a guess at which one it was. That yeah, everyone gets offended by everything. So, anyway, um, it was removed, uh, and it was replaced with this. This, it's not the only case of, uh, something being removed in this game, either. Uh, there was another instance, uh, where there's an item we're gonna get later. It actually has a different symbol on it. Uh, than the original. Uh, you can play the original uh, only on the N64. Uh, if you have a gold cartridge of uh, Zelda for the N64, that was part of the first release uh, run of the game, so that would be that too. That would be a guaranteed way you would know um, that you have an original copy as a gold cart. Uh, there are great carts that were standard release too, I think. I want to say there were. Uh, but like, you're less likely to know what version of the game it is. May I think on the back you can like look at some certain like every game uh, that comes out from Nintendo has like different like codes on it basically. 
Uh, and so there'll, there'll, there'll be one that has a uh, code that basically says this is version 1. So. Anyway, what are we doing this for? I don't even know. I'm assuming there's something up here. There's a door. I don't know what's actually up here, though. We're gonna find out. Is this something we have to do? Probably. Uh, I think that maybe just like the maps in here or something. Oh, we got some uh, floor tiles attacking us now. This is straight out like Link to the Past. These aren't so bad though because there's... Well, first off, there's what? Like eight of them? It's not a big deal at all. And here is also our first... Oh, there's just a Gold School tool in here. Um, oh wow, I said it by its proper name? What's going on? Um, this is also a like like. Uh, he eats uh, your shield uh, and your tunic. And if you leave the room, uh, or he forces you out of the room, sometimes they'll spit you out in like pits. They'll do that in like later areas, especially Master Quest of this game. Um, oh, we get that. I refuse to use the hookshot here. Um, yeah, they can spit you into the pit, and then you like lose your shield. You lose your tunic. Uh, they will only eat the Hylian shield, which is what we have here. Uh, I don't think they'll eat the Deku one. Maybe, maybe they will. Because uh, I think you can encounter. Like we're gonna go back to Child Link. I think you can encounter them as Child Link. Maybe they eat the, the Deku shield. I, I don't think they do. I think uh, in that shop that's in Hyrule Market, they mentioned there's a monster that eats Hylian shields. Uh, so I don't think they eat the Deku one. Uh, so there's that. Is there a reason to go over to the right? Yeah, I think there's another prisoner to save. We can get over there, right? Probably. Let's just run across the lava. It's not so bad with the Goron tunic in here. I think if you put on the Kokiri tunic... Well, first off, the timer's gonna appear again, just like Death Mountain Crater. Um, but I think as soon as you touch like any of the lava down there... Uh, you start taking damage like immediately, whereas the Goron Tunic I think gives you like a second or two. Hmm, I wonder if this wall looks suspicious. This little thing is like a bombable wall. But I mean like, it's pretty obvious, come on, be real here. Uh, what was I talking about though? I was I was just talking about something, there was the Tunic we were talking- Oh yeah, so like, yeah, they won't eat the Kokiri Tunic. They'll eat the Goron one and- Oh, there's another one we're gonna get. I bet you can guess what it is! <laughs> I don't think you actually have to talk to these guys, but I mean, like, we'll, we'll do it for the, uh, for the kayfabe. That's not a thing. That's definitely not it at all. That's a wrestling term. That has nothing to do with what I just said. We'll do it for the, uh, continuity. The story. For the kayfabe. Yo, magic. Remember when I was just wrong? There you go. So we got us a small key. They can open locked doors. So we got two. We got us two keys. Let's move on. Whoa. Oh, that's not good. Well, we're gonna get hit now. Oh, we didn't. Look at that. Avoided all that damage. What's the point of even platforming? Platform perils. Oh, this is the way we're supposed to... That, that That's just the way we started here. This is the way we gotta go. Nice rolling jump there. I don't think that's that even necessary. I think it's just, it does get you a little bit further. Some jumps that you're not supposed to be able to make can be made like that. But anyway. Alright, I think you need to uh, climb up this fence. This, this is a... Uh, this is not a fun part here, actually. Because they expect you to, like, maneuver along this fence here. Which is, like, really tiny. I mean, you can do it. Okay, that wasn't that bad at all. I'm just whining. I'm just like whining. Oh, I thought there was a third one. I think there's some keys over here. Yeah, we can take them out. I don't really want to deal with them. Um, because they'll turn to fire keys, I'm pretty sure. And I just don't have no, any time for that. Yeah, so the first part of this dungeon, is, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just kind of move forward. You notice we don't have the map or compass or anything. We've already gotten two keys. And this part, you just, you know, stay on this lava. Look at it, shoots us up. Pretty nifty. I like it. Like I said, I like this dungeon. 
It's actually being really familiar to me now. I'm, I'm definitely understanding where I'm supposed to be going here, so this is good. Can you talk to this Goron? Yeah, I guess you can, eh? Oh, okay. He's, he's just afraid right now. Okay, so we can't get in there. I don't remember what these guys are called. Let's find out. There's like slugmas here. Torch slug. You just hit him once. And you hit him again. That's how you take care of them. I think with the item you get in here, they're a one shot. But that's how most dungeons work. Usually when you get the dungeon item, you can use the dungeon item to take care of everything. Why is this taking so many hits? The other one took like no hits at all. Okay, so what does this do? Okay, so that does that. I think you need to use the uh, the bombs to activate that crystal switch. So they give you a pretty lenient amount of time. But anyway, that's just a quick way back up. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, it's just a quick way back up. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now what? Oh no! It, it, okay, it's half a way up, half. Like, we're supposed to use it to keep going up here. See, I don't remember everything. I'm still I'm still getting the hang of things. Don't worry, we got it. Cash mode. Okay, not sticking to this for some reason. That's definitely climbable. Why can't we... That's how we get up there. Why, why can't I hookshot to this? Oh, maybe you can't so that you can't just break this room. Oh, that's exactly why. Oh man, such smart programming. But at the same time, kind of dumb because, well, like, you should be able to, right? Now, if I'm not mistaken, there's like a bombful wall or something. There's a way down. Maybe it's from another way. I don't know. Not do that. Do that. There we go. There we go. Not as dumb as I look. I thought we freed that Goron here, but there must be another way into this room. When we get the map, I'll figure it out. Must be another way in. Right? Gotta be. It can't, it can't be this room. That'd be silly. This is the room I was thinking of, by the way. This is the room, remember I was like, there's that top down segment? Um, I wish there was more of this, cause look, we can run around with our bow right now. Pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. This, this is like some gauntlet stuff right here. But anyway, pretty awesome. And also we can see through this wall right here. So that's pretty hidden there. I mean, if you go in here, you can hear it, so like, that's your hint that the Goldman's here. But yeah, I love that you can like, top down aim here. It's so cool. And like, I know, like, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna shoot anything, but like, I just love the fact that you can do it. It's just such a neat concept that, like, I don't know why you don't use that anywhere else in the game. This might be the way to that other Goron. Oh no, this is just a completely different one altogether. Alright, what are we doing here? 14 minutes? Okay. We're good, we're good. Wow, you're only telling you're only telling me that now? Fire's definitely been an obstacle before that in this game. Like Dodongo's cavern definitely had fire in it. Anyway. I guess that's more of a big deal here. Let's be real. It's the fire temple. It's gonna have some fire going on. We're gonna aim more in our gauntlet view. Just because it's so cool. Goodness. How cool this is. I don't think there's actually anything in here. 
Ah! No! I'm just having fun walking. I mean, I just wish there was like a... Oh, here we go. I wish there was like a... Uh... Not a platformer, but like, I wish there was a, like a point to that, you know? Like, I wish those moblins that it was top down so you could like... Um... You could hookshot? That'd be cool. <laughs> you could hookshot them then. Yeah. So you can see fake doors, or you, there's fake doors in here that attack you. I think some fake doors hide real doors. Uh, so we gotta be wary of that. Can we actually get up? No, you can't get up from here. No. Because if you use the hookshot, then... No, there's a way up here. But I don't think it's from this room. There's another way into this room that we'll see later. I want to say that this over here is actually optional. I think like the map is through here or something. Nah, that ain't it. Remember when I was talking about how you don't need the bow to beat this dungeon? I think what this opens is completely unnecessary. I think this is... Okay, why did that just happen? What the fudge? Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> what? What was that? <laughs> what a weird glitch. But anyway, that's the map. Right. So where was that room we were in before? Uh, I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. Anyway. We'll figure it out. So anyway, you need the key to get through here, right? Man, I think when I first did this game, I, I tried going here first, and then I saw that, I was like, oh, I guess I can't beat this dungeon. But yeah, you, that's the only thing I think you need the bow for. And I mean, like, it's the dungeon map, so you don't actually need that to beat this dungeon. That's an unrequired item. So anyway. Alright, now there's a Inferno coming behind us. Inferno! So we gotta get to the end of here. Without dying! Yeah, we good. Pretty easy mode right there. I think you might- the treasure chest is in here. Oh, whoops. The treasure chest is in that cage. Which I want to say that you can just uh, flip over it or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, here's that. Here's that room we were in, the top-down gauntlet room. Do we hook shot to this guy, or is this just like take him out? I think it just stuns him actually. No, it's not, it's not doing any of them right now. I notice there's a crack in this floor. Which obviously, we need to use. And I believe uh, and Abby's like, hey, I think there's something here. Yeah, and you can actually Yeah, this is this is the way to this dude here. Yeah, okay. Okay, I knew we had to drop in. I was trying to bomb the floor. That was dumb. Okay, so what's what's our hot tip for rescuing this guy? Some creatures that dance as they attack. Okay. They just they just love to tell you to use the bombs in here. That's like their favorite thing. They're like, use our bombs. They blow up stuff. There's another key. I think we might cut it here, and we can probably do the rest of the dungeon in the next video. I think I'm gonna get out of this gauntlet room. And then we'll call it quits. Maybe there's a mini boss we can fight first. I think it's more of those Lizolfo guys that we fought in Dodongo's Cavern. But like, they're supposed to be harder this time around. And I don't think they're that tough. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this, I just want to jump here. Without falling. So we saw the switch to open the free this guy. It's over here. Okay, these 
torch slugs here. They're not duff. They're not duff. They're not duff to deal with. Oh yeah, duff man. At least the camera looks over this way. Okay, we can make this jump. Sometimes I don't like the camera in this game very much. Okay, I'm probably gonna arrow this guy. I'm not gonna deal with him. I'm gonna get him the light of day. Is there anything in here? It doesn't look like he has a treasure chest. He must! Yeah, he does. Okay, what's he got? What's the hint he got for us? Then we'll, we'll call it quits. If you find a place you can see on the map but can't reach, try playing your ocarina. I think that tells you to use the Scarecrow song in here. Um, but we're not going to do that because we don't have it yet. That's just for, I think you need to come back here with it for the, uh, some of the gold school tulas. I'm pretty sure there's a key door you're supposed to use in here as well. We have a bunch of keys. Maybe we I think we have to go back to that uh, inferno room because there was there was some key doors there. I think we have to go up to that. It was right over here. Yeah, the inferno is gone now. Oh, but now it's coming. Coming the other way. I said I was going to end the video, but well, I haven't, but I got to stop it soon. This may be the ending point, yeah. We're going to stop it right here in this big open backward C looking room, because I don't really want to deal with this right now. So thanks for watching. Next time, we'll finish the Fire Temple. So until then, I've been Odin Spack. See you next time. Later.